hi everyone and a welcome to my channel so today I have for you a what is in my granddaughter's Easter basket I started collecting her Easter basket items several months ago and I am ever more glad that I did um, I had no idea we would end up in this a predicament that we are in uh, you know when I started collecting so um, most everything that I have had is from the Dollar Tree minus about four items so I'm gonna start with those four items and then everything after that will be from the Dollar Tree so have this a super cute little chick with a bunny headband on um, here is the um, price tag for it It was $4.99 I'm not even sure where I picked it up from possibly um, Target or dirt cheap or I don't I don't know where I got it from but I'm, I'm pretty well certain that it was 90% off I saw I buy a lot of things off you know after the season and I have storage bins and I put it in there and I just save it till it's time to come out and so that is probably one of those things and uh, we have a golden egg I picked this at 90% off for 19 cents so I'm sure the Easter Bunny will find something very nice for her to put inside this golden egg and um, so it was 20 cents I'm sure I picked it up last year or some year some year past no tell how long it's been out there but the Easter Bunny will fill this up with something I picked her up this um, at King Dollar no at value dollar I'm sorry y'all have not seen that video yet but this is one of her gifts for her Easter basket is for cold drinks only everything at value dollar is a dollar thirty nine unless otherwise marked and so this was a dollar thirty nine I think she's really gonna like it and so I picked that one up for her and the next thing I got her is from Hobby Lobby she loves to you know pretend the teacher and write and you know do all the things so I thought this was a really snazzy um, little notebook for her it was a dollar 74 so I know she will like this a lot her Easter basket here's her Easter basket this is a Target Easter basket that I purchased at 90% off and I purchased the liner for it. it is an E for Elizabeth um, this is what it the liner looks like so I picked it up for 40 cents and I was glad to have it um, I was by ahead of time and you know put the things back and hold it till till the next season so um, that's what I did um, so everything else I picked up at the Dollar Tree for her um, so if you watch all my Dollar Tree hauls you've probably seen all these things um, I picked her up some Polly Pockets these will be a great fun for her to play with while she is is you know at home right now and um, picked her up some of these uh, pop teenies party pop teenies these are surprise poppers I have no idea what they look like but it looks like something that she would really enjoy so she can have that I picked her up this pen to go with her writing tablet this is a Dollar Tree pen I have one of these I use it at work they write really well I like them because they are thin I do not like a, a fat pen so this will be good picked her up these erasers um, decorative erasers I picked them up because they are like spring colors and I thought those would be cute for school I picked her up these little cookies I have never tried these I have no idea if they're tasty or not but I liked the color so I picked those up uh, rock candy I loved these when I was a kid and it's kind of brought back some memories so I picked those up for her somebody said these were really tasty and so picked those up for her thinking about trying it opening it up and trying it and then putting just some in her basket I don't know we'll have to see 
picked her up some M&M eggs with peanut butter, some Sour Bright gummies, picked her up a Russell Stover's um, chocolate bunny, picked her up some uh, whack a -Packs. These are a lot of fun to, um, to play with. Um, let's pick those up. Next, I picked her up some planters. She likes to come over here and help me on the porch with all the things. So I thought this year we could fix these little planters and send them home for her. And she could tend to them at her own house. And they are so super cute. I picked up a Yuma the Llama. Right? Where does it say? Uh, it's a unicorn, not a llama. So Yuma the Unicorn. Tilly the Turtle. Flora the Fox. And Hudson the Hedgehog. Guys, these are so stinking cute. And they're going to look so good with the succulent in them out on her porch at her mother's house. I know she's going to really like these. Um, I will just help her to propagate some of my, my succulents. And... Uh, in no time they take off growing it's such an easy uh, thing you know to help expand your succulents like the amount that you have I don't know what I'm trying to say but guys those are so cute so I picked those up for her I picked her up a shower cap her and her mother can share this I love the packaging it is so a retro looking super cute she loves these, so I picked her up some of that. And then, last but not least, is her Easter eggs. Um, I have her Easter eggs stuffed and ready for the Easter Bunny. This is 63 eggs, and I think that is plenty for her. Probably too many, um, but she will enjoy finding those. Um, I did pick up the candy for them at the Dollar Tree because that was the one thing that when all this uh, quarantine and stay home, stay safe stuff started is that I did not have candy for her Easter basket. So on one of my trips to the Dollar Tree, I did pick up some candy. I picked her up now and later splits, some airheads, some chocolate, some Reese's. I picked her up some Nerds and some Laffy Taffy. So for five bucks, right, for five dollars, I was able to, to stuff 63 eggs. So that is awesome. Um, I, I did these because although they are a little um, littler amount than the amount that you would get if you bought the bags at Walmart, they're one dollar. And when you only have one kid and you buy, say, a big bag at, at Walmart, you get so much and it's all the same. You don't get a variety. So for one dollar, I spent five and I got five different types of candy. So that, that was my thinking for buying the smaller bags. Um, when my best friend and my children were smaller, she has two girls, I have two girls, we would go to Walmart together and she would buy several bags of candy, I would buy several bags of candy and we would split them so that we would have a good variety without having to break the bank on buying a lot of different candies. So that's the way we would do that and um, that was our little like hack I guess for for Easter and then another hack this and we're talking about hacks is that um, so I have four kids two stepsons so um, each of the kids they're three years apart and one year they were all small and it was raining but raining so much that the yard was flooded and so we I had to decide how can we have an Easter egg hunt inside the house with four kids and uh, make sure that everybody gets the same amount of eggs, the same amount of candy. 
So, you know how you save like all the eggs from every year that there ever was Easter egg hunt at your house, right? So I have a bunch of eggs. We split all the eggs up by color. And then we would we counted the sets. We needed four different colors, one color for each kid. And so um, we did that. We split them all up by color. Then we counted them out and figured out, like, oh, okay, we'll need 25 blue ones, 25 purple ones, 25 pink ones, 25 green ones. And then we stuffed those. And the rules were that when the Easter Bunny came, because you only have a couple of rooms to, um, you know, hide the eggs in. You don't want everybody running all over your house. And um, plus, if you expand it to all the rooms, you're likely not going to find them all. People, they're going to get left behind. So, um, the Easter Bunny hid the eggs. And a lot of times the eggs were together. So, all the person could do, so say like my oldest one had pink she could only pick up pink eggs. She couldn't find a green one and pick that one up. If she found a green one, she had to leave it where it was at until that person found their green egg. So it was a little challenging, but hey, it was an idea. It was a way that we could hunt Easter eggs in the house. The Easter Bunny could still come and the kids could still enjoy Easter. And so that was our hack that year that we could not get outside to hunt for eggs so anyway guys you know where there's a will uh, there's a way and us mamas are really um crafty and inventive to figure out a way for our children to enjoy a holiday so even though we are in this situation that we're in right now we can still make this a good holiday for our children so i hope you are taking care staying safe you know, doing what you what's right for your family. Um, I'm still having to work. We still have to do all the things. But you do what's right for your family. And, um, you know, we'll get through this together. So, take care. Please give my video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this. If you have an Easter hack of something that you've done in the past that really, you know, sparked some joy for your family share it with us i shared with y'all two of my easter hacks that we have used in the in the past and um just give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button become part of my friends here on youtube i would enjoy having you and y'all take care bye